two methods for calculating the time factor t when applying the simple interest formula using days. Because time must be expressed in years, loans whose terms are given in days must be made into a fractional part of a year. This is done by dividing the days of the loan by the number of the days in the year. Ordinary interest uses 360 days as the denominator of the time factor. This method dates back to the time before electronic calculators and computers. In the past, when calculating the time factor manually, a denominator of 360 was easier to use than 365. Over the years, ordinary interest has become known as the banker's rule, where time equals the number of days of a loan over 360. Here's an example. Using the ordinary interest method, what is the amount of interest on a loan of $19,500 at 6% interest for 160 days? Step 1. Use 360 as the denominator in the simple interest formula. So interest equals 19,500 times 0 0.06 times 160 over 360, which equals $520 of interest.